All right, the next type we're going to look at is the floating point types. So this allows us to store numbers with a fractional part or the container decimal point. So it's example 4.2 or negative 8.3. Now, this is very similar to the real numbers in mathematics. However, there is one difference. In the real numbers, we can have infinite digits after the decimal point, where in programming or on a computer, we don't have infinite amount of memory. And so we're limited to the number of digits after the decimal point. So for example, if I take the number 48.9999, for some types they might only be able to store this um, accurately where other types might be able to store this accurately but it is limited okay and this is something you need to think about it doesn't map to mathematics perfectly okay we've also got the size at the front and that's your range of values and we'll go and have a look at this on our table. So these are your floating point types. Let's stop scrolling. Let's move that up a bit. So we have float double and long double. We can see the range here. So we've got 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 38 to 3.4 times 10 to the positive 38. And we've got a precision of six decimal places. So here, the um, type here, it's only accurate to six decimal places. If we go to the next one, we've got a larger range, okay? But it's only got a precision of 15 decimal places. And if we go long double, we've got even more. And we can see that makes sense because our size in bytes is going up. Now we're not gonna have a look at how this is stored in memory. Um, it doesn't really matter at this stage. Um, for now, it's just important to understand that this and also the range of values that we can store. But you can see that floating point types can use very, very large numbers. All right. Thank you.